Oops, something is not right. There's a good chance this whole video is just gonna be a bunch of nothing and I don't get any photos. Before we get any further into this one, I want to let you know that if you're a film photographer or if you're into film, this is this video is probably going to annoy you a little bit because I don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> this is a 6x6 medium format Zenza Bronica film camera. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name of it completely. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. I've had a little bit of a look at some videos online about how to use it, so hopefully I can figure out at least how to take a photo. So having shot here a few times, I kind of have a few go-to compositions that I just tend to keep going back to, especially times like this where I'm experimenting with a new camera or something like that. They're fun and sort of easy to just go back and have a crack at. So this composition here that I'm trying to get, I took it probably two years ago, so before I was ever making videos. I'll throw the original shot that I'm kind of mirroring up here now, where I've basically got this little pond in the foreground, the reeds in my real extreme foreground, and this really old, cool, gnarly tree, sort of as the main subject of the frame, and a little bit of sky behind. It's very sort of dark, grey cloud happening in behind that tree at the moment, so this might look pretty, pretty cool. So I think I'm happy with how that composition is. Now comes the hard part of trying to work out to actually get a shot done. So I've got an app on my phone which I'm going to be using as my light meter. The app is called Light Meter, if you want to use it. I think basically I'm just going to use it as a meter reading. And so it's telling me, so F8, this is telling me 1 30th of a second. So as far as I understand, all I have to do now is put this, pull this little card thingy out and hit the shutter. I think, I'm nervous. Oh, there's a rainbow happening now. That's cool. There's a rainbow happening right behind the tree. All right, I'm nervous, but we're going to try this. I'm going to pull this thingy out. And then hit the thing. No, what am I not doing? Oop, something is not right. Oop. I think that took a photo. I might do it again just to be sure. I'm gonna do another one just to be safe. If that photo worked out, I'll throw it on the screen. If not, I will throw you a either completely overexposed or completely underexposed photo on the screen. Let's take a look. So way out behind my right shoulder there is the Yangs. I'm gonna see if I can get like a cool wide photo of that with them right at the very bottom of the frame. So 1 45th of a second, it looks like it wants. Probably do 1 60th and underexpose it a bit. And I'm just gonna handhold it this time I think. Let's see how that works. So I have come right around to sort of the other side of this um, area. I don't know what this, you'd call it, this reserve. There's a lot of people and dogs and stuff going on over there and I'm trying to have a nice peaceful time shooting film. Because that's what you do when you shoot film, from what I understand. You have a nice relaxing time. So I've come to this little tree behind me. I think it's a cherry blossom tree um, that isn't flowering at the moment. And I'm gonna see if I can get a cool photo of that. The sun is setting sort of right now behind us, so I'm gonna see if I can get maybe a cool backlit shot or something like that of it. I'll use the tripod because it's getting a little bit darker now. And I think I'm gonna be have to using a slower shutter speed. So I'm gonna have a little wand here and we'll see what we can get. Even just shooting square is a huge language battle for me. Cause I'm always a just regular two by three or four by five crop kind of guy. My brain's been melted by Instagram doing everything four by five. So trying to sort of work out something that works square is a little bit strange. The only thing I'm not happy about here is the foreground. So I think I'm gonna move over. Over right, there's some rocks poking through the dirt. So we'll move over there a little bit. So focus again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And I'm gonna open my aperture up a little bit, I think. We'll go F4, dial that in. 
and then just nail my focus right on the tree, I think. Actually, you know what, let's go 2.8, and then that house in the background might blur out a little bit. Set my aperture to 2.8 on the app. One thirtieth of a second is telling me again, which I think something is definitely wrong, because everything so far the app has said one thirtieth of a second. So I'm doing something wrong, which is definitely the case, or the app is doing something wrong. So one thirtieth of a second. I think that's good. I really hope these are working. back where we started. Um, the light's pretty much gone, but I'm still gonna have another crack at this shot. Mainly because I'm paranoid that I did something wrong the first time and it didn't work. And I would like it to work. That would be good. So we're gonna give it another go. Some cool blue arrowy almost colors happening. Um, a big think, think, a big thick blank of blank. A big thick bank of cloud has rolled in right over where the sun would be coming through. Which is a shame, but what can you do? So I'm just going to line up pretty much the exact same composition as before, which you may or may not have seen if the first photos worked. So I'm going to open up my aperture a fair bit on this one. We'll go f yeah, 5.6 or so. And then I'm just going to eyeball the focus again to get the tree pretty sharp, which it looks like it is. And then I'm just gonna adjust so my horizon's straightish. It's looking like about an 80th of a second is what it wants. Which if it wants an 80th of a second now, there's no way those first shots worked at a 30th of a second. Oh, someone just walked into the frame, go away. Get out of here, go, leave. Okay, they're gone. Well, everybody, I think from there, I'm gonna call it a night. Put this thing away and head home. I do have two exposures left. I fired another one after I started filming that last clip where I tried it for a half a second exposure, uh, F22, just to see if something long exposure would work, which if it did, here it is. But thank you for joining me again. Hopefully at least one or two of those photos came out visible. We'll be back to digital soon in the next video, so if you want to see that one, stay tuned, we'll see where we end up. But until then, thank you for joining me on this one and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's so heavy too.